There's a video that's been going around, and even Snoop Dogg shared it, of this Kung Fu master doing an iron face technique against a kickboxer. Now, I went up and looked up who the kickboxer was in the whole entire story, and it's even more funny, so let's go. There's some Japanese words that I can understand knowing Chinese. This means confident or self-assured. So we can only imagine that our Kung Fu master had a lot of Dunning-Kruger effect before he challenged the K1 guy. So this is the full match. You've never seen this before. So this kickboxer who's blonde dyed hair, you know what he is? He's a professional KY fighter. Did I say KY? K1 fighter. Rukio Ampo. Rukia Ampo. So now you know the identity of this K1 fighter, Rukia Ampo. Now, who is this Kung Fu guy? I don't know. But as you can tell, it starts out okay. He's not doing that bad. I mean, he is still doing bad, but not as bad as we saw from Snoop Dogg and other people's compilations. So I think it's around here. That we start seeing the iron face technique. So it's funny the K1 fighter Rukia. Woo! He's fighting kind of like how anyone who's just testing the waters does it. He's almost letting our kung fu guy throw some strikes just to see and get his flinch response out of the way. He's kind of just defending, getting used to defending before he dials it up. So here it is. This is this is when we saw from social media this is look at this look at this dialing up great head movement by rukia and yeah this is what we saw and it's cool because as much as this looks bad they weren't going too hard right this is still a controlled sparring so very good on this k1 fighter for not going too hard also if you notice the kung fu guy does land a few strikes i mean doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things you see that Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. This shows that if you do kickboxing, head movement's important too. So, look at all the people filming. And that's the end of the round. Look at that couple guy. He's like, I'm still standing. Oh my god. Now, who is the guy with the tats on his face? That's another cool part. So, the K1 fighter in this video is actually the number fourth ranked featherweight in the K1 organization. And he's a Kyokushin fighter. His name is Rukio Ampo. Rukio Ampo. What's interesting is this day he actually sparred someone else. So this Kung Fu master, so to speak, was the second person he sparred. The first person he sparred before this was some guy by the name of Junshi Urita or Urita Junshi, the guy with tats. So this is the sparring footage from before. There was two minutes of this before our K1 fighter fought the Kung Fu, Bullshido, whatever you call him. So this is much more intense, and I swear to you, see, it's not sped up. That's the Kung Fu guy you see there. That's the Kung Fu guy filming. So this was a much more intense sparring before the sparring against the Kung Fu guy occurred. So you guys can watch the rest of this. I won't show all of this. But I was trying to find was trying to find qualifications for this Junshi guy. I couldn't find I don't know exactly what his deal is. Um, he has a big YouTube channel, but I can't really figure out what he's doing. Is he just a vlogger? But he seems trained. He seems he's got some skill right he knows to evade he knows to throw overhands etc so this was much more intense than the second spar session that everyone saw so anyways you guys can go watch the rest of this i'll link both junshi's and rukio or rukia sorry rukia's account so that's the best i can do guys hope that helped hope you enjoyed my coverage and i'm sure most of you have seen it already on instagram or tiktok we'll talk soon guys we'll talk soon and maybe some of you who speak Japanese can help further translate or can help me reach out to our guy, Rukia, and ask him, what's going on? Who is this Kung Fu guy? Is he someone that you want to spar again, etc.? So we can find out more information. Okay, this was Jerry from Fight Commentary Breakdowns.